Lesson 2. Seeing well. Somo la pili. Kuona vizuri. Vocabulary for seeing well. Musamiati wa kuona vizuri. Most of what you do in driving is a reaction to what you see. To be a good driver, you need to see well. Mambo mengi unayoyafanya ukiendesha gari nijibu kwa kila unachokiona. Ili uwe dereva mzuri, unatakiwa kuona vizuri. Seeing well means... Kuona vizuri inamanisha. Looking ahead. Kuangalia mbele. Taking in the whole scene. Kujua eneo nzima. Looking to the sides. Kuangalia pande zote. Intersections. Makutano. Pedestrians. Crosswalks. Wanaotembea kwa migu. Vivuko vya migu. Railroad crossings. Mapito yanjia ya reli. Observing to the rear. Kuangalia nyuma. Changing lanes. Na kubadilisha barabara nyembamba. Keeping your car where it can be seen. Kuweka gari lako mahali ambapo linaweza kuonekana. Checking the speedometer. Kuangalia kipimakasi. Backing. Kurudi nyuma. Having clean windows and mirrors. Kuwa na mabadirisha na vio safi. Adjusting your seat, seat belts, and mirrors. Kurekebisha kiti. Mikanda ya kiti na vio. Seeing well at night. Kuona uzuru usuki. Wearing corrective lenses. Kuva lenzi za kuboresha uwezo wa kuona. Looking ahead. Kuangalia mbele. Drivers need to look far enough ahead to see things early. By doing so, they avoid last second moves. Madereva wanapashwa kuangalia mbali ya kutosha ili waone mambo mapema. Focus your eyes at least 10 to 15 seconds ahead of you. Tazama angalau kusunde kumi kwa kumi na tano mbele yako. To determine how far a 10 second interval for a certain speed is, please see page 13 of the Kentucky Driver's Manual for details. Kujua umbari wa sekunde kumi wakati wa mwendo fulani. Tafadhali angalia ukurosa wa kumi na tatu au mwangozo wa madereva wa Kentucky kwa maenezo zaidi. Taking in the whole scene. Kuangalia eneo nzima. Looking ahead does not mean looking at the middle of the road. It means taking in the entire scene, the sides of the road as well. It's called scanning. Kuangalia mbele haimaanishi kuangalia ka, katika ya barabara. Inamaanisha kuchunguza eneo lote pamoja na pande za barabara. Inaitwa scanning. Scanning of the road helps you see. Scanning pande za barabara inakusudia kuona vehicles and people that may be in the road by the time you reach them. Magari na watu ambao hauenda watakuwa barabarani utakapowafikia. Signs warning of conditions ahead. Au alama zinazoinya kuhusu hali zilizo ko mbele. Signs giving you information about places ahead and how to reach them. Ishara zinayokupa tarifa kuhusu 
sehemu zilizoko mbele na ngisi unavyoweza kuzifikia Being alert and always looking far ahead reduces your chances of having a collision and increases the time you will have for decision making and reactions Kuwa mwangalifu na kuangalia mbele nda wowote hupunguza uwezekano wa kuwa na mgongano ajali na huongeza muda unaohitaji kwa kufanya uamuzi na kuitendea kazi looking to the sides kuangalia kwa pande when you come to a place where others may cross or enter your path look to the sides to make sure it's safe to proceed Unapofika mahali ambapo wengine wanaweza kuvuka au kuingia kwenye njia yako angalia pande zote ili uhakikishe kwamba ni salama kuendelea These places include Sehemu hizo ni kama intersections mkutano crosswalks vivuko vya migu Railroad crossings, mapito ya njia ya reli, parking lots, eneo la maendesho, school areas, maeneo ya shule, etc. na kazalika. Intersections. Makutano. When you approach an intersection, follow these rules. Unapokaribia mkutano. Look both ways. Angalia pande zote mbili. Look to the left first since traffic coming from the left is closer to you. Then look to the right. Angalia upande wa kushoto kwanza kwa sababu trafiki inayotoka kushoto iko karibu nawe. Kisha uangalie upande wa kulia. Take one more look to the left before you pull out just in case there's something you did not see the first time. Angalia upande wa kushoto kwa mara nyingine tena kabla ya kuondoka. Kama kuna kitu ambacho hukukiona mara ya kwanza. Do not rely on traffic signals. Usitegemee alama za trafiki. Look both ways even if other traffic has a stop sign or a red light. Someone may disobey either one. Angalia pande zote. Hata kama trafiki nyingine inaonyesha ishara ya kusimama au ta ya rangi nyekundu. Mtu anaweza kutoti moja au nyingine. Make sure you have a good view. Hakikisha kwamba unaweza kuona vizuri. If your view is blocked, ikiwa kuona kwako kumezuiliwa. If your view of a cross street is blocked by a building or a row of parked vehicles, edge forward slowly until you can see. Ikiwa huwezi kuona barabara inayokutana na barabara nyingine kwa sababu ya jengo au mstari wa magari yaliyo egeshwa sogea mbele pole pole hadi uwezo kuona If traffic in one lane is blocking your view of another lane wait until it clears If you try to look by placing the front of your vehicle into the other lane you may get hit Ikiwa trafiki kwenye barabara moja nyembamba inakuzuia kuona barabara ingine nyembamba subiri mpaka barabara iwe wazi ukijaribu kuchunguza ukiingiza kichwa cha gari kwenye barabara nyingine unaweza kugongwa pedestrian crosswalks vivuko vya wanaotembea kwa miguu most crosswalks are located at intersections Vivuko vingi hupatikana kwenye makutano. 
Watch for people who are about to cross the street you are turning into. Remember, if you have a green light, the light is also green for them. Angalia watu wanaokaribia kuvuka barabara wanayogeukia. Kumbuka ikiwa unata ya kijani. Ta iko na kijani na kuwa pia. Usually, pedestrian crosswalks are marked with the following warning signs. Kawaida, vivuko vya wanaotembea kwa migu vinaonyeshwa na alama zifuatazo. Pedestrian crossing. Kivuko cha wanaotembea kwa migu. School crossing. Kivuko cha wanafunzi. When traffic control signals are not in place or in operation, the operator of a vehicle shall yield the right-of-way, slowing down or stopping to a pedestrian crossing the roadway upon which the vehicle is traveling, or when the pedestrian is approaching so closely from the opposite half of the roadway as to be in danger. Wakati alama za utibiti wa trafiki hazipo au hazifanyi kazi, Dereva wagari atahacha haki anjia. Atapunguza mwendo au atasimama kwa kusubiri anayetembea kwa migu avuke barabara. Dereva alikuwa anataka kuingia. Au wakati anayetembea kwa migu anakaribia karibu sana kutoka nusu ya barabara kuwa katika hatari Drivers shall yield the right of way slowing down or stopping for pedestrians crossing the roadway upon which the vehicle is traveling Madereva wanapaswa kuacha haki ya njia kupunguza mwendo au kusimama ili waache wanaotembea kwa miguu avuke barabara ambao gari inataka kupitia The law requires drivers to yield to pedestrians in the crosswalk Vivuko vya wanaotembea kwa miguu Sheria inaamuru madereva kusubiri wanaotembea kwa miguu walioko kwenye kivuko wapite Every pedestrian crossing a roadway at a point other than within a marked crosswalk or within an unmarked crosswalk at an intersection shall yield the right of way to all vehicles upon the roadway Kila mtembeaji kwa migu anayevuka barabara katika sehemu nyingine ambapo sikuvuko cha migu kilicho na alama au kwenye kivuko cha miguu kisicho na alama kwenye makutano anapashwa kuyaacha magari yote yaliyoko barabarani yapite railroad crossings vivuko vya barabara ya reli the law requires drivers to approach a railroad crossing with caution Sheria inamuru madereva kukaribia makutano ya barabara ya reli kwa makini. The round yellow sign with the black RR and or RR painted on the pavement are advanced warning signs indicating the road crosses railroad tracks ahead. Alama ya mviringo ya jano ikiwa na herufi za re re nyeusi au herufi za re re zimechorewa kwenye lami ni ishara ya onyo inayoonesha mapema kwamba barabara itakutana na barabara ya reli hapo mbele the X sign at the crossing means drivers must yield to oncoming trains. Ishara ya msalaba kwenye makutano 
inamaanisha kwamba madereva wanapashwa kusubiri treni inazokuja. The X sign at the crossing means drivers must yield to oncoming trains. Ishara ya msalaba kwenye makutano inamaanisha kwamba madereva wanapashwa kusubiri treni zinazokuja. At crossings marked with automatic flasher units or automatic crossing gates, drivers must stop if the lights are flashing or the gates are lowered and remain stopped until the lights stop flashing and the gates are raised. Kwenye vivuko vyenye taa au milango ya kuvuka moja kwa moja, madereva wanapashwa kusimama ikiwa taa zinawakawaka au milango imeshushwa na waendelee kusimama mpaka taa zitapa zitakapocha kuwa kawaka na milango imepandishwa At crossings with a standard stop sign drivers must stop and proceed only when they determine no train is approaching Look both ways as you approach a railroad crossing Kwenye vivuko vikiwa na alama ya kusimama Madereva wanapaswa kusimama na kuendelea tu ikiwa wanaamua kwamba hakuna treni inayokuja. Angalia pande zote wakati unapokaribia kivuko cha barabara ya reli. You must yield the right of way to the train or stop if the lights are flashing or the gate is lowered. It is your responsibility to determine if it is safe to cross the tracks even if the lights are not flashing. The signals may not be working. Unapashwa kuachia haki ya njia kwa treni au kusimama kabisa kama taa zinawaka waka au geti ikiwa imeshushwa. Ni juhumu lako kuamua kama ni salama kuvuka barabara hata kama ta hazia waka inawezekana alama hazifanyi kazi zimeharibika railroad crossings vivuko vya barabara ya reli if you do get boxed in or stalled on a crossing abandon your car immediately and run away from the track in the direction the train is coming in order to avoid being hit by flying debris. Once you are at a safe distance, call the 800 number posted on or near the X sign or call 911 to alert the dispatcher of your stalled vehicle. Do not attempt to restart your vehicle until the dispatcher indicates it is safe and no trains are approaching. Ikiwa gari imefungiwa au imeshikwa kwenye kivuko cha treni, Acha gari lako mara moja na ukimbie ukielekea upande wa treni inayokuja ili kuepuka kuumizwa na vipande vinavyoruka. Unapofika kwenye sehemu ambayo iko salama, piga simu namba mia nane ili yo andikwa karibu na alama ya msalaba au piga simu nane moja moja ili umjulishe yule anayeweza kutoa gari lako ambapo limekwama usijaribu kuanzisha tena gari lako mpaka mtangazaji anaonyesha kuwa ni salama na hakuna treni zinakaribia school buses and tank trucks carrying flammable liquids must stop at railroad crossings get prepared to stop if you're driving behind them expect a train when approaching any railroad track mabasi ya shule na magari ya tanki yanayobeba mafuta ya kuwaka lazima yasimame 
kwenye makutano ya barabara ya reli. Uwe tayari kusimamisha gari ikiwa unaendesha nyuma yao. Tarajia kukutana na treni kila unapokaribia makutano ya barabara ya reli. Crossing a track after the warning lights are flashing or the crossing gates are down is against the law and you could be cited. Kuvuka barabara baada ya taza kuonya bado zinawakawaka au geti za kuvuka zingali zimeshushwa ni kinyume cha sheria na unaweza kushitakiwa. For more details, pages 14 and 15 of the Kentucky Driver's Manual. Kwa maelezo zaidi, kurasa za 14 hadi ya 15 za mwongozo wa dereva wa Kentucky. Observing to the rear. Kuangalia nyuma. Check traffic behind you several times a minute. It will help you gain a complete picture of the traffic situation and to maintain a safe distance behind your vehicle. Angalia trafiki iliyoko nyuma yako mara kada kwa dakika. Ita kusaidia kupata picha kamili ya hali ya trafiki na kuchunga umbali salama nyuma ya gari lako. If someone is following you too closely or coming up behind you too fast, you will have time to react. Ikiwa mtu anakufuata kwa ukaribu sana au anakuja kutoka nyuma yako haraka sana, utakuwa na muda wa kushughulikia hali hii. Changing lanes Kubadilisha balabala. Before you change lanes. Kabla ubadilishe barabara. Number one, look in your rear view and side view mirrors and make sure that no one is preparing to pass you. Moja, angalia vio vya kuangalia nyuma na vio vya kando na uhakikishe kwamba hakuna anaye Jitayarisha kukupita. Before you change lanes. Kabla ubadilishe barabara. Number two. Give a proper turn signal showing your intentions. Mbili. Towa ishara ya kugeuka inayofa inayo onyesha niya zako. Before you change lanes. Kabla ubadilishe barabara. Number three, glance over your shoulder to check for traffic near the left or right rear corners of your vehicle. Blind spots. Tatu, tazama upande wa bega lako haraka ili uangalie trafiki ilioko karibu na kona za nyuma za upande wa kushoto au upande wa kulia wa gari lako. Number four. Avoid slowing down suddenly. If you are forced to slow quickly, check behind you to see if other drivers are following close to you. By doing this, you may prevent a rear end collision. Ne. Usipunguze mwendo kwa rafla. Ikiwa umelazimika kupunguza mwendo kwa haraka, angalia nyuma yako ili uone ikiwa madereva wengine wanakufata kwa ukaribu sana. Kwa kufanya hiyo, unaweza kuzuia kugongwa na gari kutoka nyuma. Keeping your car where it can be seen. Kuweka gari lako mahali ambapo linaweza kuonekana. Keep your vehicle where other drivers can see it. 
You cannot always be sure other drivers will see you, but you can avoid putting your vehicle where they cannot see it. One common mistake is driving in another driver's blind spot. Weka gari lako mahali ambapo madereva wengine wanaweza kuliona. Huwezi kuwa na uhakika kila mara kwamba madereva wengine watakuona, lakini unaweza kuepuka kuweka gari lako mahali ambapo hawawezi kuliona. Kosa moja la kawaida ni kuendesha katika sehemu ambayo dereva mwingine hawezi kukuona. Avoid driving on either side slightly to the rear of another vehicle. Either speed up or drop back, but do not remain in another driver's blind spot. Usiendeshe gari lako pande zozote zilizoko karibu na nyuma ya gari ingine. Ongeza mwendo au rudi nyuma. Lakini usibaki kwenye sehemu ambayo dereva mwingine hawezi kukuona. When passing another vehicle, pass through the other driver's blind spot as quickly as you can. The longer you stay there, the longer you're in danger. Unapopita gari lingine. Pita kwenye sehemu ambao dereva huyo mwingine hawezi kuona haraka kadiri uweza uwezavyo. Unavyoendelea kubakia hapo ndivyo unavyoendelea kuwa hatarini checking the speedometer kupunguza kipima mwendo glance at the speedometer about once a minute to ensure you are driving at a safe and legal speed tazama kipima mwendo mara moja kwa dakika ili uhakikishe kwamba unaendesha kwa mwendo salama na unayokubalika sheriani. Backing up. Kurudi nyuma. Backing up requires extra caution because it is difficult to see behind your vehicle. Kurudi nyuma kunahitaji uangalifu zaidi kwa sababu ni vigumu kuona nyuma ya gari lako. When backing up, follow these rules. Unaporudi nyuma fuata sheria hizi. Check behind your vehicle before you get in. Children or small objects are difficult to see from the driver's seat. Angalia nyuma ya gari lako kabla ya kuingia ndani. Ni vigumu kuwaona watoto au vitu vidogo ikiwa kwenye kiti cha dereva. Back up slowly. Your vehicle is more difficult to control when you are backing up. Continue looking back until you come to a complete stop. Rudi nyuma pole pole. Ni vigumu zaidi kuongoza gari lako unaporudi nyuma. Endelea kuangalia nyuma hadi usimamishe gari kabisa. When backing up straight to the rear or to the right, look over your right shoulder directly through the rear window. Do not depend on your mirrors. Unaporudi nyuma kwa kunyoka au kuelekea upande wa kulia. Angalia juu ya bega lako la kulia moja kwa moja kupitia dirisha ya nyuma. Usite, usitegemeye vio vyako. When backing up to your left, look over your left shoulder. Do not depend on your mirrors. Back slowly and continue looking back until you come to a complete stop. Unaporudi nyuma ukielekea kushoto. Angalia juu ya bega lako la kushoto. Usitegemee vio vyako. Rudi nyuma pole pole 
endelea kuangalia nyuma mpaka unaposimamisha gari kabisa avoid backing up into traffic or if possible use a person outside to help you epuka kurudi nyuma kwenye trafiki au ikiwezekana tumia mtu aliye nje akusaidie if you have passed your exit on an interstate or freeway never back up or try to turn around go on to the next exit to turn off ikiwa umeshapita ulipokata kugeukia au umeshapita barabara ambayo ulitaka kutumia iwe kwenye barabara ya jimbo na jimbo au barabara kuu usipime kurudi nyuma au kugeukia barabarani nenda hadi kwenye barabara ifuatayo ya kuteukia ndio uigelie having clean windows and mirrors huwa na madirisha na vio safi keep the windshield clean because bright sun or headlights on a dirty windshield decreases vision kio cha mbele kibaki safi kwa sababu jua kali au mata marefu kwenye kio kichafu hupunguza uwezo wa kuona remove snow ice or frost from all windows before you start to drive ondoa teluji barafu au baridi kwenye madirisha yote kabla uanze kuendesha gari do not hang anything from your rear view mirror or clutter up the windshield or rear window with decals besides blocking vision they are a violation of the law usiweke kitu chochote kwenye kio chako cha kuangalia nyuma wala usijaze vitu kwenye kio cha mbele cha gari au kio cha nyuma kando na kukuzuia usione mbele wala nyuma kujaza vitu kwenye vio ni kukiuka sheria adjusting your seat seat belts and mirrors kurekebisha kiti chako mikanda ya kiti na vio adjust your seat seat belt rear view mirror and side mirrors before you start to drive Rekebisha kiti chako mkanda wa kiti kio cha kuangalia nyuma na vio vya kando kabla uanze kuendesha gari Adjust your seat so that you can see the pavement 12 to 15 feet in front of the vehicle Rekebisha kiti chako ili uweze kuona lami kwa umbali wa futi 12 hadi 15 mbele ya gari Your chest should be located 10 to 12 inches from the center of the steering column and your shoulders should be no lower than the top of the steering wheel Kifua chako kinapashwa kuwa inchi kumi hadi 12 kutoka Please note, ya safu ya one foot equals to 30.48 centimeters. Na mabega yako hayafai kuwa chini ya sehemu ya juu ya usukani. An inch is equal to 2.54 centimeters. Tafadhali jua futi moja ni sawa na santimeter makumi tatu na makumi ine na nane inchi moja ni sawa na santimita mbili makumi tano na ine seeing well at night kuona vizuri usiku use high beams whenever there are no oncoming vehicles except when fog or other inclement weather would make low beams more appropriate Washa mata 
marefu mwanga mkubwa kabisa wakati ambapo hakuna magari yanayokuja kutoka mbele yako usipokuwa wakati wa ukungu au hali nyingine mbaya ya anga ambapo mwanga mdogo unafaa mata marefu mwanga mdogo dim your lights whenever you come within 500 feet of an oncoming vehicle and when you are following another vehicle within 200 feet punguza mwanga wa kati ambapo uko ndani ya foot mia tano. kati yako na gari linalokuja kutoka mbele na unapofuata gari lingine ndani ya futi mia mbili. slow down and use low beams in fog snow or heavy rain the light from high beams will reflect back and cause glare during these conditions Punguza mwendo na utumie mwanga mdogo wakati wa ukungu teluji au mvua kubwa Mwangaza wa mwanga kubwa utarudisha nuru na kusababisha mngao mbali katika hali hizi If the lights of an oncoming vehicle remain on high beam Dim your lights and look toward the right side of the road. This will keep you from being blinded by the oncoming vehicle's headlights. Do not try to get back at the other driver by keeping your bright lights on. If you do, both of you may be blinded. Ikiwa ta za gari linalokuja kutoka mbele zimebakia kuwa na mwangaza kubwa, punguza mwanga wako na uangalie upande wa kulia wa barabara hii itakuzuia kuwa kipofu kutokana na mwangaza mkubwa wa gari linalokuja usijaribu kulipiza kisasi kwa dereva mwingine kwa kuendelea na mwangaza mkubwa wa gari lako Ukifanya hivyo nyie wote mnaweza kuwa vipofu. Wearing corrective lenses. Kuvaa lenzi za kuboresha uwezo wa kuona. If you are restricted to wearing corrective lenses, always wear your corrective lenses when you drive. If you are not wearing them and you happen to be stopped by a police officer, you may be issued a citation. Ikiwa unapashwa kuvaa lenzi za kuboresha uwezo wa kuona, vaa lenzi hizo kila wakati unapoendesha gari, lakini hujazivaa na ofisa wa polisi akikusimamisha, huenda ukamvuriwa ufike mahakamani.